Hey guys, Diane Burroughs here from birdsupplies.com and oh my gosh, I got up this morning, it's Veterans Day, and looked at the calendar and lo and behold, Thanksgiving is like two weeks off. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's the holiday season is fastly approaching. Now I know, and you probably know this too, that the holiday season tends to be a little more stressful than other times of the year. And uh, you know, our birds feed off that stress too. I mean, with all the family dinners and working late, uh, uh, going to board parties and different kind of get togethers, having company over, all of this stuff can kind of grate on a bird's nerves after a while, especially an anxious bird. And so it's best if we can start preparing our bird for the holiday season in advance so that uh, it, it, things go just as smoothly as possible. So I'm gonna give you five tips on how to support your bird through the holiday season. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is encourage your bird to exercise a little more than usual. I'm a psychotherapist and we know that that when we've got like a uh, anxious or depressed client, that the three best things that we can have them start doing is exercise, improving their nutrition, and getting enough sleep. And your bird is no different. Uh, you, the more your bird exercises, the more fit its body feels, but also the more happy its brain feels. You know, your brain uh, emits chemicals, you know, like serotonin and stuff, the happy chemicals that help stabilize the mood. And so I'm not talking about going from, you know, being a perch potato to a full owl exercise routine. I'm just talking about getting your bird more mobile, more active uh, in its living environment and its play environment. Um, over the next few weeks. Do things like add some perches into the cage if you have room for that, where your bird has to climb around to explore its environment. And you know, make it even more enticing by adding some foraging stations that they can grab some uh, tidbits of their favorite treats or even food. Um, that'll really pump up their mobility. Uh, one thing I do that to encourage exercise is I like to get my birds out of the cage daily. In fact, my, I have a bird, a dedicated bird room and uh, my, my birds have kind of an open door policy with their uh, bird cage and their play stand. So the cage door is open and I have a, a play stand available for them to be able to climb all over the top of their cage and even on the play stand. And I position the toys in various areas where they have to, you know, uh, climb about and, and exercise and, and explore. And so that really helps them to stay active um, and interested in their environment. And the more exercise they get, the physically or healthier they feel, and the, mental, the more mentally healthy they feel. Now the second tip I have for you is to start making your travel plans early. If you're leaving town uh, during the holiday season, your first choice is going, your, your first decision is going to be, gee, should I take the pets or should I leave them? And should I hire a pet sitter or board them? Um, and if you're going to take, uh, if you're going to hire a, a pet sitter or, or board, you need to be making those plans like right about now or earlier, if possible. Um, you know, check for availability. Ideally, it'd be great to find a pet sitter that is really familiar with birds and that has time to do uh, pre-visits so that the bird gets to know them. Um, and uh, you know, an alternative if you don't want to have a pet sitter come to your home is to check in with your vet and see if they offer uh, boarding services or even a bird store in your locality that might offer some um, uh, pet sitting services. I have some dogs that are just playing right now, so pardon their little silliness here. Now, if you decide to take your bird with you, make sure that you've got a travel cage and a, a bin full of the supplies that you're gonna need that are easy to pack and easy to take in the car if you're going by car. Um, you know, some of my favorite bird carriers include the Wingabago, uh, but I also find myself using a perch and go travel carrier with my smaller uh, African greys and my little green, green cheek conure. And then I'll pack up a bin, you know, full of their food, some cleaning supplies, some, their favorite toys, their favorite perches, so that there's a um, familiarity around uh, while they're traveling with me on, on trips. And I have taken my birds on, I mean, even two week long vacations like this. I, I'll have a kind of portable play stand and my travel bin and their bird carrier. And, um, 
Uh, I've had a great time taking my bird on car trips. Uh, so, so start thinking about that if you're going to be leaving town. Now, um, the third tip that I have for you is if you're having a lot of house guests over during the holiday season, create a comfy, safe place that you can put your bird if you're uh, you know, entertaining into the evening or entertaining evening after evening, and especially if you have a lot of guests with children. Um, we know that, you know, or at least at my house, whenever we have a lot of guests and stuff, everybody's curious about the birds and they want to uh, pay attention to the birds and have the bird pick the birds up and talk to them and see if the birds will talk to them back. And all, You know, it just goes on and on and on. And so if you have a house full of guests and you have a nervous bird, that could be a a little overwhelming for your bird. So again, I'll use my travel cage as kind of a comfy, safe zone for the birds, sometimes to get them, to give them a break from all of this commotion that they're not used to. And uh, sometimes if, if we're having a lot of guests late and stuff, you know, we'll just put the birds in the travel cage and take them off to a more quiet area of the house, maybe a darker closet so that they can get that necessary 10 to 12 hours of sleep that they need a night, un uninterrupted, and not have to worry about kids poking their fingers in their cages and, and all that jazz. You know what I'm talking about. So uh, make sure that your bird has a safe zone, especially if it's on the anxious side or especially if you're going to be entertaining into the evening hours. Now that is a great segue for my fourth tip, which is to make sure that your bird gets plenty of sleep. You know, you probably know this, but birds need 10 to 12 hours of uninterrupted darkness a night, quiet, you know, no LED lights. Um, they need to just reset their circadian rhythm every single night with 10 to 12 hours of sleep. And if they don't get that amount of sleep, it kind of, not only does it make them grumpy because their body actually needs it, that's, that's the environment of, you know, those uh, rainforests and jungles that are around the equator. They have like 12 hours of light, 12 hours of darkness, and it's not too much, you know, maybe a half hour difference between the seasons, but that's essentially how much a bird our parrots tend to need to sleep. And so if they don't get that, then what happens is it kind of starts throwing their body into a chronic hormonal state. And you don't want that having that happening if, if you can prevent it. So ensuring that your bird has 10 to 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep a night. Um, if you're not in the habit of doing that, now's a good time to get that started, especially with daylight savings time having just changed over. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, a dark room, as quiet as possible with no lights that uh, can keep them up and keep their uh, circadian rhythm clocks, their photo clocks going, you know, into kind of pushing them into that hormonal state. That's, that's not what you want to have happen. Now, the fifth and last thing that I'm going to talk about is that if you do have an anxious bird and all of the commotion of the holidays is a little too much for them, consider using some of our um, calming bird supplements. And I've got a couple of them behind me. Our most popular one is this parrot calming formula, which is literally a powder that you put in the water. And it's got a, a natural amino acid in it that actually calms the nerves and, and just kind of melts the stress away. And if you put it in the water, the bird gets a slow and steady dose all day long. So that's our, it's very popular, it's on Amazon as well. And um, it's a very popular uh, for a lot of our birds, but uh, we sell a lot of it during the holiday season. Now we've also got a parrot calming tea. It's way over here to the, to the left, I guess that is, or maybe it's your right. I can't tell on a video. But anyway, our parrot calming tea is actually a blend of uh, several adaptogen herbs. Adaptogen herbs are just a fancy name, if you will, for herbs that actually calm the nerves. You know, they have those properties in them where they, they don't necessarily sedate you, but they just calm you down and make you uh, so that you can just deal with the stress of the day. So our herbs can either be steeped into a tea and a lot of birds like that, or the way I feed them is to just, you know, put maybe a teaspoon in my bird's chop in the morning and mix it up because they're so nutritious. Herbs just supply so many different uh, vitamins and nutrients in addition to that calming that uh, um, I really find that that's one of the things that keeps my birds in such beautiful feather is that, you know, the availability of the nutritional uh, supplements and, and vegetables and stuff that, that I offer my birds.
The last one I want to talk about is hemp seed, and that's a pretty popular product here at birdsupplies.com. Um, our hemp seed is actually raw, uh, unhulled, so the birds can crack it open and get that kind of satisfaction of cracking open, you know, seeds that uh, all birds love to do. And so hemp is really, it's, it's not, the seed is, doesn't make a bird high at all. Uh, a lot of people worry about that, but that's not what hemp seed does. It's, you know, the marijuana smoke. It's, totally different thing than the hemp seeds. And so the hemp seeds are super nutritious. They're like powerhouses of nutrition. You've probably heard of them at health food stores, hemp hearts, where they crack them open for, you know, us people to put on salads and stuff. So they have a lot of nutritional value. They have a lot of fatty acids that our birds need. They also have some healing properties. I mean, they're like uh, help to reduce inflammation, have you know, heart uh, health benefits, and also pain reduction benefits if you've got a little bit older or arthritic bird. So that, it really pulls a lot of double duty, gives you a lot of um, support and a little, uh, you know, maybe a teaspoon of seeds a day. So, the, you know, always consider those if, you're, if your bird's on the anxious side. Now, a couple of other safety tips that I want to make sure to mention for you is that you know if you have a Christmas tree uh, a lot of people think it's cute to let their bird climb in the tree well if your bird were to get a hold of those ornaments or even some tinsel and swallow it and stuff that could be dangerous so kind of avoid that if you will don't let your bird hop in the tree because if it swallowed some of those things it could be a disaster and finding uh, open avian vet on a holiday is not easy I've I've been in those shoes before Another thing to consider is that our birds have very sensitive lungs and so you want to make sure that uh, you're not, you know, having burning candles or using any fragrances that could uh, damage their lungs and or even be lethal. So don't use any scented candles, you know, avoid the fragrances and stuff like that so that your bird's lungs stay healthy. And finally, you know, our guests are often not as bird savvy as we are and so when they you know walk up to the bird cage and maybe they're eating a snack or something they want to give the bird a little tidbit the birds obviously often begging for it but you know encourage your vets or not your vets but your guests to not feed your birds any snacks and stuff uh, while they're visiting especially things like chocolate sugary foods and fatty foods um, those are not healthy for your bird and um, could even make it sick uh, now fresh vegetables is a different story but most of our guests aren't feeding the birds you know the fresh vegetables so just kind of draw the line and say hey please don't feed the bird so those are some tips for you to help you have a successful safe and happy uh, holiday season i hope it helped um, if you liked and learned it please learn something please give me two thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, you can even click like that little bell and um, you'll get notified when i put new videos up which sometimes is uh, two to four times a month and um, so until next week Hey, have a great uh, holiday season and we'll talk later. Bye-bye.